vloga, face and over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Such a powerful woman. Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's okay. Oh, I'm mean, Nish Basoro, aka Miss Fair for Color Prime, back for all entertainment. If it's the first time you're joining me, I'm Mr. David Welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly. Oh, I me. Now, ninjas, today you will not believe who's actually here. I'm so excited. <laughs> we have the gorgeous. We have the famous, we have the multi talent child. <laughs> Innocent Sadiki. <laughs> How are you, ma'am? How did I land up here again? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but Who sent me the location you? pin here? Uh, well, I sent Milly, so <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually sent you. <laughs> you did, you did, you did. Um, yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I think it's an honor. Um, I love your work. And um, wow, I never thought I'll be sitting here. By yourself, especially. I don't know whether it's good or bad. <laughs> it's but great. Is it great? Okay. <laughs> I love you as a friend, and this is why I'm here. I know. And that's on period. I know. And that's on period. <laughs> you see, guys, one thing you should have, have famous friends. Who's on his season? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let me go ahead and be honest with you guys. Mm -hmm. I know you're an actress. Yes. A, of course, a talented one. A Thank gorgeous you. one. Thank and you. I think that sometimes you really don't know how talented someone is close to you. Mm -hmm. Up until you actually see their work and you're like, wait a minute, me, <laughs> You're this talented, you know? <laughs> so obviously right now, I feel like you are leading. Like when it comes to the skim sum, um, you're like a storyline yes. right now. Yeah. And I saw you and um, there's a scene where you were there and I think you were telling this, I don't know if it's the sister. Yes, and yes. you are like, and I'm like, damn, you <laughs> know, can actually act because I know you in person, yes. and it's such a different contrast, completely. a contrast of yeah. who you are. So it means yeah. you are able to like get out of who you are oh, yeah. and act, which that's what makes someone a great actress. 100%, 100%. Of course. So when I saw that, I remember actually sent you a WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm like, friend, are you allowed to have an interview? <laughs> You're like, yes. I'm like, oh my god, let's do it. <laughs> So obviously I know yes. it might not be everyone that watches Kim Sam, but I do have to say it is the second most watched show show in the country right now. Come on, come on. I mean, we give it up yeah. for Kim Sam because I think like compared to most of the soapies, like it's the newbie, you know, oh, yeah, it's the new absolutely. kid in the block. And it's been, and I think um, also to just keep up being on that leaderboard, it's yes. not easy. That's what I'm because saying. Because it's a highly competitive industry and you're not just competing with your traditional media. There's also social of media course. platforms that you're competing with. There's your online platforms like Showmax and Netflix that you're competing with. And so for them to be in the leaderboard, Board, they're doing something right and I Definitely. consider myself very blessed to be a part of a successful production that is well produced, well directed, well written yeah. and also that really has a cast that is committed to their work and really just telling authentic and real stories that each and every person can relate to. You know there's nothing as boring as watching something you can't relate to like yeah. you yeah. know, but when you're watching Skim Sam, you know, every single character represents someone yes. out there and a I think that is percent. critical and that's why characterization, I think it's so important because you're not representing yourself you're representing someone else you're not acting yourself you're acting someone else otherwise then we must close the show it must be a wrap my value because okay. when's I need? what exactly. are you doing you know so those writers put in a lot of work to make sure that when we do tell the stories as an actor mm -hmm. it's authentic it's real and it's, it's like a whole world I call it it's just like you are in a world Rukotev you are mm. creating a world that in the minds of the viewers, it exists. It yeah. is real. Literally, people would meet me at, you know, joke work. And they're and like, what are you doing here? Right? Exactly. <laughs> Why? Because it's real. Like, yeah. to them, you live there. Today, you are Mem Litualu. You are Togo. You are Mantulu's daughter. Yes. Why are you not with your sister? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, that is the beauty of the art that we are in and the craft that we are in. No, honestly, I do have to say, like, the writers, like, the storyline is really good. And what yeah. you're saying is actually really true yeah. of the fact that, like, it's like someone is actually represented mm -hmm. there. I love how they even bring in different backgrounds mm -hmm. in terms of you've got your rich people. 
and yes. then you've got your people that are just living day to day and then you've got your middle yes, class standard uh, people yeah. you know you've mm-hmm. got it's it's just really it's real. real you've babe. got kids that are in college that Come are struggling on. with certain subjects Things that happen in schools, yes. you know. I l- also yeah. loved, well, you know, not to divert, <laughs> but I loved when they also included the love scamming. Oh, yes, like, that is actually yes, like that's real with with, with yeah. the times because yeah. like that's something that is actually happening right now. So it's much. extremely educational. Every single story um, has education behind it. So even if you see the storyline Yas Togo, mm-hmm. there's a story behind it. There's education mm-hmm. behind it. So at the end of the storyline, I mean, you will understand why the story was written in the way that it was, was produced mm-hmm. in the way that it was, because it's actually going to teach people something about it so enjoy the love but there's also lessons to be learned of course you know <laughs> there's always lessons when it comes to love but anyway i want you to just go ahead and mm-hmm. um you know uh, this is something that i always forget mm-hmm. of the fact that when i'm friends with someone that i'm interviewing yes. i forget that the viewers don't know you okay some viewers, well a lot of people know you obviously yeah but some viewers mm-hmm. but before we actually get to your character can you go ahead and just tell us like okay who are you okay i love yes. that question i always say that um people need to know themselves i believe yes. strongly in personal branding and so with personal branding you need to be very clear and precise of who you are because that is what distinguishes you from somebody else of course. that what that is what is your unique selling proposition it's who you are primarily so my name is innocent sadiki mm-hmm. i'm a wife i'm a mother mm-hmm. i'm an academic um i'm a producer i'm an actor i'm a filmmaker mm-hmm. and i'm a content creator and i'm a preacher of the gospel of god yes. i live according to purpose to power and i persevere in everything that i do so in a nutshell that is who i am i'm a brand specialist um the reason i say i'm an academic is because i believe a lot in education and investing in myself because I believe whatever I put in myself is what I'm able to take out. And so mm-hmm. I've taken a lot of time to really, um, you know, introspect and, and understand what my purpose is here in life. And so my industry work is very much connected to my ministry work because mm-hmm. everything that I do is shedding light mm-hmm. to what God has called me for. And you're such a great preacher. Oh, thank you. I've not been Glory to church to God. in many years, <laughs> but I'm actually literally considering to come to church. Oh. So I will definitely come to church. When? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. No, no, no. That's a valid question. Okay. Are you guys having like a special for tomorrow? Because it's no, tomorrow Good Friday. No, no. We, we're not really because most of our church members are people who come from far. Oh, so during long weekends, they usually they go usually home. Travel. So we usually do our services online. But once okay. in a while, once in two or three years, we yeah. do have like our Easter services. But do you have a, a, a service this Sunday? 100% have a service I'm going to be in church this Sunday. Ma'am, <laughs> what? I'm gonna no. I'm definitely gonna no come. Pressure, I've been saying no that pressure. I actually do want to come, um, or go to church. You know, yes. and so I think that it's also very much important to. Um, I mean, I know you off off camera, yes. and yeah, my spirit. Yeah, I'll oh. go ahead and keep it there. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely come this Sunday, Thank you, and so yeah, that's what I'm gonna actually do. Oh, and I also I wanted that. to say when you were talking about like a, you said you are a brand strategist, a specialist, a brand specialist, specialist, right? Yes. I just wanted to give you a compliment. Thank well, you. I don't know if Millie told you this, yes. but there's a document that I actually asked. For, <laughs> well, not necessarily asked for. I asked for help. Yes. I asked for help, yeah. and so um, she forwarded me, like, you know, um, a certain document, okay. and it was so well done. Aww. I was like, ma'am, and she's like, oh, actually, you know, did you? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, multi-talented for yeah, sure, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I really love branding. I fell in love with branding long, long time ago. I initially went to go study um, advertising management because I wanted to be in the industry, but I didn't just want to be on screen. I also wanted to be behind the scenes. I wanted to be able to create commercials from a more strategic point of view so I studied okay. advertising management then from there I was like okay now that I, I love branding and, and and advertising let me go study television as well so I'm able to have the right conversations and know what goes on mm-hmm. in front and behind the camera from a more logistical perspective then that's how I went to a film school now I'm back to branding again uh, because you know 
things are escalating and more than ever personal branding is everything like yeah. you're a brand but it takes yeah. a lot of work to build a brand it and does. a lot of personalities don't know how to build a brand yeah. a lot of great people behind big brands don't know how to brand themselves as personalities and so that's really my focus now that I went back to school I want to be able to have personalities who want to be a somebody who want to be googleable you know it's a I very be strategic a somebody. please help it's me it's a very strategic <laughs> process yeah. very very strategic. this is why tonight in South Africa we don't have icons people who are personalities we're like that person is iconic like listen the country must be on a shutdown yes. but so many people have worked hard they just don't know how to brand themselves in a way that they are brands right You're actually they're not right, being eh? paid well enough because the work is great but the branding is not great mm. so then we, we you know we wear you according to what we can see yeah. but if what we see is value then we pay you according to that I mean look it's it's a whole different discussion it <laughs> is I'll definitely it's a whole like, different you know, discussion I'll, yeah approach maybe we can have a different discussion mm. a different day and oh, yeah, we can just yeah. go ahead and discuss when it comes to that the other aspect that i'm also going to share is the fact that you're also a twin <laughs> that's the only yes. part of, like that's the part i'm actually ba, 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 jealous ba, ba. of i'm like oh, you have a twin you have a sister that's like a twin to you what do you like mean? and she's not the same because you know oh. she she's a baby sister and she's for oh, she's like I she know. prefers to be my baby more than my sister <laughs> so i'm like i need a twin that will be oh. like here together you know <laughs> But yeah, you are a twin. Yes, and I'm, twin I'm a that. twin to an incredible mm-hmm. human being called Millicent Mashile. Mm-hmm. My goodness, if I can be half the person that she is, I would have known I've done a lot in life. Um, I look up to the person that she is in spirit, um, as as a personality, as like a mom, you know, as a leader, as a philanthropist. My sister is mm-hmm. an extreme philanthropist. She believes so much into giving back. She's a giver, you know. Uh, I love her spirit. I love her heart. I love her patience. I love the um I just love her tenacity in life and her whole perspective about just giving giving giving. She's really changed my mind, mm. you know, and, and and changed my my ways of looking at people, you know, not just to be like, you know, give a level of soul, but mm. she's opened my mind mm. um to that. So I admire that about her. I admire her strength. Ah, I admire everything about her. I love her. And babes. I know like whenever you talk about her, you guys tear up. I but know, I really tear up. Like, I'm just like <laughs> I'm not doing it today. <laughs> She's obsessed about me. She's obsessed, you know. No, but I remember there was a day that um I can't remember, I think it was the time that you guys went to was it uh Lesotho? You guys recently yes. went to Lesotho, yes. right? Yes. And I remember just seeing you guys there and yeah. I love the relationship that you guys have. I mean, it's I have special. baby sisters that were very close, yeah. but I feel like you guys actually go through life moments together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you're yeah. the same age. If you have to go through, hey, this class, Babes, you're we in were, class we, together. Like, when we were just the concept, we were together. Exactly. Like from the, you know, like a baby starts, like it's like you're so small that like the features are so small. We start, we, that journey started there for mm. us, you know, from you getting your limbs, from you getting your eyes. Yeah. We were there in the journey together. So you can't separate what God has mm. put no, together and what God has intentionally created together so I mean um, it's a very special relationship I love it I appreciate it and um, I'm forever grateful to God for mm-hmm. giving me somebody like my sister yeah you know I was sitting and talking to my baby sister oh. and we're like we'd like to start a show wherein like we just help people with their yeah. sibling relationship because we're very close and I get very shocked especially with the comments that I get yeah and people are like oh my gosh oh, I mean, like the things you do for your sister no and you like, love family babes no, like you I'm are like, family person I am. like i'm sure you like isn't this automatic no yes, no 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 because mm-hmm. i'm like guys wait a minute what do you mean yes i sold my car <laughs> to take my baby sister to college sure. is that not what people do like i'm, I'm very sure you no, know, honestly like no. for me i just feel like no. you know if, 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 you, we, i mean i feel twin connection yes, is bigger yes. but for the fact that like we shared a womb yes like listen yes. honey there's no, nothing you, you i can't very family oriented and yes. this is a beautiful thing i didn't think think that i think that is what I really love about you. Aww. You are a lover of love. You love your family. Um, and geez, I mean, that for me, like, surpasses everything. Because if you fail to love, you know, someone whom you were, you were birthed in the same womb from, how are you going to love your neighbor? Exactly. You know, it's, love it's is a very standard. Weird, so I appreciate that about you. Oh, thank you. Well done, babe. Thank you. I mean, I think it comes natural the same way that, you know, <laughs> I've seen you guys. Now, obviously, I think that I have actually given you guys a brief. Nobody's going to come and say, oh, I mean, what about the big? you know and stuff like that yeah. but I want us to actually talk about your character mm-hmm. now who is your character on Skim Sum Oh my goodness, sure. I, I am so blessed to play a person like that. A very calm, independent character who has really gone through the most. Um, Ustogo is 
Mantuli's daughter. Mm-hmm. She's the firstborn in the Sekamela family. She's got two siblings, Aguaito and Pretty, and um, was raised by the mom. You Togo went to school, she studied, and she was married previously. Togo is divorced, by the way. Ooh. I, I, yeah, there's the D word there. <laughs> you know, Togo has gone through through a lot because she was in an abusive marriage Mm -hmm. um the guy was much older his name is dennis was much older and um abused her yo like this girl cried like if there's a character that has cried a a person that has cried it is togo she's also gone through a miscarriage due to the abuse that she's gone through you know um stayed home for the longest time because she was trying to get a job because she's dependent on this guy for such a long time and then there was a shift that happened in her life by the grace of god Amen. Okay, well, Innocent is here now. <laughs> By the grace of God, she yeah. got a job as a teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, she's now Mrs. Litsualo. Litsualo is the surname from, from the husband, the ex-husband. Okay. And um, yeah, she got a job. She's empowered herself. She's worked really, really hard to be where she is. She's worked really, really hard to be an independent woman, to pick up her socks, stay alone. Oh, she's got a son. Ah, Clement, how can I forget my son? How can you forget? <laughs> Like, is she not a mother? (laughs) Oh, I love my son so much. My Mm -hmm. son stays with Gogo, which is Mantuli. And yeah, look, she found this job. She's very happy. She's comfortable. You know, she's really found her feet. And finally, after the divorce, after the pain, after the cries, after everything, Togo finds love. (laughs) I mean, that's something to celebrate, you know. That yeah. is really something to celebrate because how many people have gone through, you know, divorce? How many people have gone through a marriage that is unsuccessful, had kids? And, you know, you never think you'll make it up again. Yeah. You know, so many people can relate to that because you've broken one. Mm. You know, you've gone through so much. That doesn't just disappear. No, it doesn't. It, it stays with you. In fact, those are your life experiences. It yeah. is always going to be a part of who you are. Yeah. It's like a scar. If somebody cuts you here, the scar can heal. But the, 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 the actual wound, wound can, can heal. heal. But the but scar. The scar yes. will remain. It will always be a part of who I am yeah. or who she is. Mm-hmm. Her identity will never change, but that is part of her journey. And so she finds love with this guy. <laughs> no, I'm like, gah, 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 gah. come on, who is this guy? You know, with an incredible police officer, mm-hmm. very calm as well, down to earth, handsome. you know, handsome. <laughs> Handsome. handsome. Oh no, Babele is 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 cute. Is handsome. Mm-hmm. You know, to talk of course. Of course. <laughs> well, I mean, this you is Togo I'm talking to right now. Really? I think I spoke to you. Oh, was Togo last page? It's yeah. most, uh, I mean, to, uh, all I'm saying is that there yeah. will be a bit of you know, but this mm-hmm. is to talk. Oh no, of course. Yes. Do you know? Do you know? I want to talk about the preps of mm-hmm. of getting into character, right? Yeah. For every character, there are preps that need to be done. Mm. There's a book actually, Millicent. What's that book that says an actor prepares, right? Okay. Okay. And actor prepare is very important because for every character there are certain mannerisms. That's how you talk. Mm. That's how you. That's how you walk. With with Ustogo, I had to do a lot of research of who she is. You know, mm-hmm. the way she behaves is informed by where she comes from. Mm-hmm. You know, the way she behaves is 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 also informed about where she's going, what her intentions are. Mm-hmm. So when Togo found love, I went deeper into it. I remember having a conversation with my co-actor. Right, his name is Opa Matthews, um, and I said. I want to have a real love story. Mm-hmm. I watched movies, oh, I mean, and I forget these people are in character. For yes. me, I believe it. You know, I send them three character references. I said, these are the references I want us to follow. So part of your research is that you must also have character references, okay. right? Who are, like, who are you trying to represent, you know, so that you can start imagining it and sort of create a flow. So with us, we sat down many hours where we try to build the characters of Uto and by in love who are they going to be and I said to him I said I watched the movie we're flying to Thailand and I remember one of the movies on the flight was Titanic and I watched it I watched Jack and Rose I'm like who are these people they were just so in love that Rose did whatever it takes for that man Mm. it's just like they were so in love that you're no longer watching a movie it's a love story I was like I want a love story I followed um, from from the wife I followed Ushomu yes Ushomu and um, that guy sorry what's his name 
Mkele. Oh, Mkele. I love yeah, their story I like so Mkele much. and Shomu and I forgot that guy was married. <gasps> I forgot. Like for me, I, like I love yes, Shomu. Yes, he is actually married. I would want to watch that show and I just want only their scenes. No, but I think because of everyone. the love story. Absolutely. Someone needs to just can somebody please just create only just their parts? Because come on, you child, know. After and he left, that's why I was like, but let's yeah. Let's so not because get the there. story was so beautiful, mm. I watched um um Unomzamo and Ustumo yes. when they were acting together and. So for me, those were the kind of characters that I looked at. I said, listen, I want a love story. I'm not here to play a child. If you are not going to open up your heart for me to love you, I am going to show you what love is. And so we really had to commit to that. I was like, I want a love story in the next five years lives, in the next 10 years lives, in yeah. the next 20 years it lives. People must look at us as a character reference to say that love story. Yeah. I said from the touch to the look, to the holding, to the kissing, everything must be special. What makes Ustogo and Babele's love story different. In fact, there's many people are in love mm. in the story. There are many relationships. There are many marriages. But who are we? How are we going to differentiate ourselves from each and every couple that's on Skim Sam? And I said, it has to be the connection. I want us to connect like nobody. And when I tell you the business. connection is connecting. Oh no, the chemistry, it is real. Crazy. Sometimes it's like, I feel like, can we just have an aircon? Because wow, <laughs> it is hot in here. It is hot in here. And so that's how much we, we we really went in it. We're very intentional about that. I said, you know what? Um, I, I chose acting, yes, but acting also chose me. Mm. I said, there are many people who can be in your position and act what you're acting. You are in a position to be blessed with millions of viewers, to tell Babela's story. You don't want to hold anything back. I'm in a position of not telling innocent story, of telling Togo's story. And if I don't tell her story authentically, if I'm not here authentically, then somebody else must come and take the role. Yeah. And I was like, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to do gonna it be right. Here. Okay. And if this girl is in love, this girl is going to be, be in love. love. <laughs> and if this girl is going to be committed, it's going to be committed. No, you and if there's going to be chemistry, there's going to be chemistry. Let me tell you, I said, do you know how to forget about everything and everyone? He said, yes. I said, that's exactly what we're going to do. Forget, baby. Focus on me. Forget. This is your person. <laughs> when we're at work, this is your person. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, because I remember watching one of your vlogs yeah. and you were in the car and mm -hmm. you were talking to your daughter yeah. and you're like you're, you're late uh, you were holding literal papers yes and you scripts. are like you know yes. driving like you gotta make me late yes what? just to do your hair you yeah. work up at the same mm -hmm. and I'm like mm -hmm. that's definitely dedication oh, right yeah. there oh yeah and we're always prepared look we shoot scenes and we'd literally be shooting almost the whole day so that's a lot of dialogue mm. we're always prepared that guy doesn't fluff child we're gonna get on set from 6 to 6 he ain't gonna fluff, fluff nothing okay I don't fluff too <laughs> Because we're professionals. We prepare yeah. everyone. So when we get there, we're able to deliver the way we need to deliver. We can focus on the characterization more than just delivering the dialogue. Yeah. We literally get in that world. We are set in a plot where I'm like, these characters are going to come to life. And I promise you, oh, I'm, I don't care what anybody says. I don't think of nobody or anyone when I'm in that space. I think of what's in front of me. And I'm like, boy, oh, boy. Come, let me show you some sugar. Wow. <laughs> You know, ma'am, I have been behaving. Let me start misbehaving a Ooh. little bit. <laughs> I've been behaving. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't ask questions. You know. Now, obviously, I know mm -hmm. there are certain scenes mm -hmm. where you're looking at it like, yeah. And you know, I think that, especially when you're following a storyline, yes. right? And you're a viewer. You don't yes. know what's going to happen. Yeah, ding, so, ding, you know, ding, they're ding. pulling in. You know, <laughs> and the, whatever, the suspense. I'm there like, oh my gosh, let them kiss, let them kiss, let them kiss. Wow. And then it happens. <laughs> now I want to know. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, as an actress, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I know like that's something that's going to happen, might happen. It yeah. depends with productions mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. If I was that guy, can kind I of what's his name? The Babele. one from the wife? Oh, the no. one, okay. Um, Mkele. Mkele. If yes. I was Mkele's wife, yes. I'd be like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Tima, right now. <laughs> Tima. Oh, maybe I'm just a very jealous human being. That is very wrong. <laughs> Oh, you know, love, I love. also just want to know, like, does your husband actually watch the show? Um, he watches the show. He loves the show. Okay. But my storyline, no, he doesn't watch the storyline. Okay. He does not. I think because 
it's hard to watch someone that you love love someone else. Thank you. You know, um, I think he wants to. He does support me. He's happy with everything. I mean, we run dialogue together. We run our lines together. So he sort of knows, you know, what's going to go into it. But he saw how I prepared for it. He saw how committed I was. He saw how I just wanted it to work, you know. So Ubo Nukur, this one is going to love someone. And I don't think I'm going to be too happy about it. So he doesn't watch. He does support me. He's happy mm -hmm. for me. You know, most of the scenes that I post, he gets it for me, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I, I, it's not an easy journey. It's yeah. really, really not. Um, I don't care what anybody says, but to see your, your partner touch someone else, to see your partner kiss somebody else, um, it's not an easy one. He knows that I'm an actor. I've always been. He knows I'm qualified for this. But I always make a simple example to people to say, if you are watching a, a fighting scene, is it real? No. no. Now, if you're watching a romantic scene, is it real? No. Exactly. So, yeah. it, it's real in a sense, but there's always ways to, to portray something more dramatic that you know when I watched the kissing scene I was like why does it look so passionate <laughs> it, is, it looks it, it th but that speaks yeah. on how good of an actress yes. you are because for me I would both of you yeah I mean, I was uh, not I was not in a fighting scene, but I remember there was a scene where Celia slapped me right, mm -hmm. and I came back from the slap, you know, and I remember I I I I, I even cried from from, but she didn't slap me. But it was a slap in the yeah, scene. Yeah. So things can look like super dramatic yeah. because that's the art of what we do. We're supposed yeah. to make the things look real. So although the kiss was just a baby kiss, mm -hmm. it looks so passionate. I was <laughs> But it's because of the skill that we have, of yeah. the ability of making things look like it's supposed to be. I'm glad it looks that way. Yeah. But it definitely was not that yeah. passionate. Okay. okay, It was just like a beautiful kiss. And I was also very blessed to work with someone who's extremely respectful. Listen to me. I'll get to the makeup room and I'll tell them, like, guys, this man is like what? discipline. Mm. Discipline. It's a professional. He's a professional. Yeah. Extremely Which disciplined. Is good. Chair. Yeah. If you're a hot person like me, of course. I respect any brother <laughs> that can that's going to be professional <laughs> around this hot the professional. Do you know what I mean? So I really, really respect him for that. Mm -hmm. I respect him because he respects me. So it was very easy to fall for someone like that. It was mm. very easy for Togo to open up her heart for him. Mm -hmm. And I think for him as well, it was very easy for him to receive the love. For us, the connection was like this. I'm yeah. telling you, it was so much in, on fire that sometimes like, I have to literally do breathing exercises to get out of character. I'm like, child, goodbye. I told you, I go stay home. right here. I'm going home to my, my husband. Birthday. And you go go home hey, to, to your, your wife. wife. <laughs> So, so I love love. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, I was very blessed to work with somebody who was willing to give love and to receive love as well. And that's very, very important. Yeah. For us, it's the small things that matter. Remember when we had a meeting, I said, I want us, even when we are unconscious of the fact that we are in a scene, to still touch, mm -hmm. to still hold, to still have the look. Like with us, we need no motivation of love. Yeah. We fight now, and the next minute we're like, you know, I fall me. back into my arms, you know? <laughs> I love love and what a privilege to be able to fall in love. I mean, it's not everyone who it's not. even in real life, how often do people find love? Not exactly. often. So okay. when you do find the real love, how does it feel? So special. And that is exactly what we want to portray. They have not been in love for a long time. They have not found love in a long time. And this is new love. It's fresh. It's fire. It's babes. It's like Yeah. Well, I I actually want you to maybe advise, you know, mm -hmm. because one thing that I've seen is that most of the, um, you know, uh, marriages mm -hmm. of people that are actors, actresses, and knock on wood, this will never happen. Amen. They, they break up, right? Yes. And sometimes you find that thing of... Um, because, you know, some people will see you, like, on television, you're kissing this person. Yes. And some of them like... Mm! That was actually too real. Yeah. Next thing, yeah. there's some um, scandal yes. of someone that starts something that is not even there. Oh, she's actually having an affair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's this and that and that and that. And I think that um, obviously, as you said, like mm -hmm. your husband really doesn't watch the story yes. as much as he loves this, and which is yeah. very understandable yeah. because at the end of the day, you still need to keep, um, you know, your and and do what works yeah. for you guys yes. as a couple. Yes. Yeah. 
what advice would you give a couple who maybe one of them, you know, is an actor and actress mm. and they, they do go into those scenes and stuff like that. What advice would you give the other partner that yeah. is not an actor and actress mm -hmm. when it comes to things like, uh, you know, obviously yeah. the intimate moments yes. that happen at work? I think they have to be very secure mm. because the minute you are insecure, you are actually creating boundaries for me that are unnecessary. Mm. When I get to my acting field, right i'm unable to act because i'm constantly thinking of you oh. and what you're gonna think when you're in that scene and you're in the bedroom and you are in the blanket i'm gonna think about what you're gonna say and that believe it or not you cannot fool the audience mm. it's gonna show on your face it's gonna show your body language because you're gonna tense up and then it's just it's not gonna translate the way it needs to translate and so you're making my job harder because when you find me i was an actor i'm mm. acting it's not me i'm acting and i'll say this the chemistry is real because you can't act chemistry. Yeah. But you have to use the chemistry right. Use it for the right character. Channel it correctly. Mm. You must know that this is for character. This is not for after they say cut. When they say cut, cut the chemistry as well. And then when they say action, bring back that chemistry. Because, it is, because there's no way, or I'm, if you don't like someone, you can't make me like them. Even if I'm somebody else, even if I'm acting somebody else, you have to create a connection between the character and you. Because something in me must really like this guy. Mm. Do you understand? So mm. you can't fake chemistry. It's either you have it or you don't. And some characters really fail with that. Thank God that in at Skim Sam we have um, acting coaches. So we did have to go through a lot of work. I remember there was one particular scene where we were in the blankets. It, it was hard, you know. But then they came that like, calm down, touch your hearts, breathe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe yeah, you can come. Yeah, you but know? that's something that we never saw. Oh, yeah. All we saw was everything was relaxed. Ooh, everything was great. So everything was enjoying like... themselves. You know, it's, it's the commitment to the craft. It's yeah. the commitment to the art. It's the commitment to what we do. You know, we we, we, we do this because we love it. We do this because we've been born for it. We yeah. do this because God has chosen us to do this. We are storytellers. We are narrators. We tell mm. stories. That is what we do. And if we don't do it authentically please stop watching yeah. we earn the millions of viewers that we yeah. have because of what we do so instead of people being judgmental they need to appreciate the art mm. they need to say they need to see the realism of the art that we do yeah. and so i think that's very important and for me i was scared i won't lie you know because for me i'm like i'm a pastor's wife i'm married to a pastor yeah. you know then imagine the next sunday after a kissing after scene. you have to go and <laughs> you preach. don't want to be that like, <laughs> you, like, mm, you don't want to be saw what mm, you were doing man <laughs> or you do not want to be that pastor his wife who walks in church after kissing somebody else you know yeah but um i'm very blessed because i i i, I i've been acting before the church and people in church actually understand my work you know they tag me they'll be like oh beautiful scene beautiful because they understand it's a matter of understanding i can't make people understand that's not my job yeah my job is to act it's not to make people understand what yeah. i do um it's also you you have to and you also have to understand the control that you have. You can't mm. control people's thoughts. Yeah. You can't control how they perceive you, but you can control what you do. You can yeah. control the narrative. And I de I'm deciding to respect my craft, and I will continue to do it until the Lord says it's enough. Stop. Yeah. I'm able to preach the gospel all over Africa because God has placed me on that platform to strategically be known all over the world to yeah. be able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So everything that I do is in alignment. Even when to the natural eye, it doesn't seem like it's aligned. Yeah. Honey, it's aligned. So like, have you gotten any backlash of the fact that you are a past, a preacher yourself mm -hmm. and you're a pastor's yeah. wife and you know, you are having sins where you're kissing? I don't think I've received backlash. I mm -hmm. did receive questions of, okay. you know, how, how is it? What did you, a lot of people ask me what my husband said. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. They're more concerned about him. And I'm like, no, my husband is fine. I sleep with him every night. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, one thing I can say, guys, is that she has a very, very good husband. And when I say good he husband, is. he has a very good heart. He, is. he hustled me for me, y'all. I will never forget that. I'm telling you, at your grandma's funeral, yes. that man got me meat and food, a whole plate, guys. Like, I didn't have to stand lines. For that, say you are forever. 
Yes. <laughs> you no, know, he really is a good person. Yeah. And, I, and I don't think I would be able to deliver the character as well as I did had I not had his support. Yeah. At the end of the day, he is my husband, you yeah. know. Um, he's the one who's married to me. And so I respect the fact that he respects my craft. He respects yeah. the art. And also, I mean, he's in the industry as well, mm. although behind the scenes. So he really, really loves what I do. He celebrates what I do. And he he, he prays for me, you know, yeah. to be able to excel in what I do. So, yeah, yeah I mean, I officially have two men in my life. <laughs> the fact that I know how close you are with your husband. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, this marriage is like literally one of those marriages that um, if you guys, if your husband ever said, I'm actually holding a seminar and I want husbands to come. Yes. My next horse <laughs> bond. Yes, I friend. I actually say, honey, I'm paying for you. Yes, honey. You are going again, you know. Because he really is a very good husband. Really I see how supportive he yes. is and everything. Do you think that it's also a bit easier for you to can actually transition into being your character that is able to love this man because of how you you as you oh, know yeah. you love your husband so much so you you have that how can I say this that relation of yes. a, 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 a someone in love yes. this is what they do this is what they think because you don't have to think about you other things because you are in love oh, yeah actually I'm my own reference you yes. are so on point and I, and I think that's amazing because you cannot be what you have not experienced yeah I cannot make Togo experience what Togo doesn't even know so because innocent knows love mm. she's able to translate and teach Togo one or two things you know yeah. so what you are seeing actually is a drop in the ocean of what she can preferably offer but I have to do it in a scale yes togo where she comes from the language that she yeah. speaks the background that she is so she's very different from innocent and so when i'm there i'm just like oh togo, i still excites me i look at him like <laughs> child <laughs> she's mm, voice mm, 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 she's mm. voice the guys I'm like go for it. like i root for him like go for it go, go. for it kiss him touch <laughs> him you know what you know because she's like go get my last togo a period. The man. Yes, she went. She is the one that actually went. Babes. And I'm like, meow. Yeah. She went for it. And I hope many women out there know that they also have the permission to go for what they want. And now this guy is all over her. <laughs> but, and, and, and that's important. You don't yeah. need validation from anyone. You know, yeah. when you know who you are, you need to be secure in, in, in who you are. And I really, really love her strength. I love her courage. I love her independence. I love that she made this decision herself. It's not influenced by anyone. Of course, she's got friends who tell her things and 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 but at the end of the day she followed her heart she saw a handsome police officer and, and she, she was like i it. am getting you child and, and i mean me a police and officer you are going to be together so you should show Yay. you how brave she is because i'm not brave enough you know Yay. that i can never really? get a police officer or a travel oh, me and my disrespect because of what yeah. ah, do you know my mouth <laughs> You want them to pull a gun on me? No. I'm telling you, I'm going to pull this guy. No he's a traffic officer. <laughs> and he's like, no. Home. I'm like, listen, the only problem I have with you is that you have a gun. You deserve a pasta, friend. You must get a pasta. Oh, Man, and a even the, but me now, I'll be the one that is like, hey, you <laughs> change congregants. <laughs> no, you are No, I, I can't. But amazing. no, I think that for me, it's just that thing of... If you have actually realized, yeah. um, between you and your sister, yes. I play on your sister more. Because I just feel yeah. like, you know, you are a preacher. So there's yes. like certain things where, even when I'm trying to be feisty. Because I'm like, why does this girl not call me? Because she'll be like, oh, I was talking to him. Yeah. yeah. Then she was like, I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey. This no, girl don't that call is me. because she ain't call me. <laughs> she ain't text me. She ain't WhatsApp me. She ain't do nothing. I mean, I, I respect both of, both of you. But I feel like there's also that thing of, well, this is a preacher. And she's also no, a I love that's you, why. babes. You understand? And so there's like an element of more respect. Not that I don't yes. respect me. I don't, people, that. people, like people, I think I'm not approachable. It's weird. People always deviate towards my sister. I don't know what it is. But also, I think over over some years, I've really created a shell around me, right? Mm -hmm. I've, I've learned to be more serious. I don't know, maybe it's the ministry or what, or people taking advantage. I don't know what it is. But I've sort of like created something around me. Also, just being in the industry sometimes, yeah. because there's so many people, if you don't have certain boundaries, mm -hmm. you know, babe, shh. It's, it's chai. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it's over. chai. You no, know, I, I, I know am that. a little bit more serious. Millicent is more receptive to, to whatever, but it's just a personality different. We're not going to be the same, babe. Yeah. Although we're twins, we're different, you know, yeah. so she's more jolly. Some people want to have serious conversations like, you are too serious, child, you goodbye. Are too <laughs> you know, I'm like, I deal with people's <laughs> problems. I deal with church problems. Of course I'm going to be more serious. What are you talking about, you know? So, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I, I, I think that it, it's also of the fact that I mean obviously I know you guys. Yeah. I think it's also that thing of um 
I don't know how to actually say because you guys yeah. for me if I'm sitting with both of you guys like the conversation is always the yes, same yeah. but whenever like <laughs> I want to be petty I know I'm like uh, Millie's my girl like, Millie <laughs> gets along with everybody <laughs> Everybody. You know, and yeah. they're free with her they can yeah. literally t- that's what I'm saying my sister is just like she's a very very great person yeah, she as is. I said if I can be half the person that she is Millicent would give the world for somebody else to be okay literally like I lack nothing with my sister mm. lack nothing Millie the reason I think I don't even know it was not even strategic for her to be Millie Millions but, but I feel like she's given more than what she has she will literally give her if she could she'd give away her liver her heart her everything Everything. That's my sister. That's why I keep close to, to you guys. Because I'm like, if ever I'm gonna need a liver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, <if> the <laughs> there's not, there's no. Let me tell. There is no amount <laughs> to my sister just for somebody to be okay. I don't know what it is. Like me, I'm just like, chat. You say what? Yeah, where? Yeah. How much did you spend? Uh, <laughs> you, say, oh, <laughs> you know. Mm-mm. But yeah, no, I mean, yeah. this was really so great for you to come. I'm so Thank thankful you. that you did. You know, and Thank you're you always the one that will be like, like, oh, honor. mommy, what am I going to be like? Oh, and no, I'm you like, scare me, babes. You, ah, mm. you see why I don't There was you. a time I binged <laughs> watch your channel. I think we're in Cape Town with Gonna Wake Up YouTube. Okay. And I sat and I watched your channel. I was like, this girl is brave. I was like, who is? Uh, they don't call me fear for cook or nothing. Hey! No, I, I don't know. Thought, I, I, I never imagined me, I'll be sitting on this channel, having a conversation with you because like, oh, she's cut throat, you know? But what I love about you is that you are really good at what you do. Thank you're very you. consistent. You're very Thank professional. You. I celebrate your hard work. I celebrate all your achievements. And I pray that God may continue to bless you. You're hardworking. I don't know anybody who produces a video every day. Child. We shoot once in a while, and that's a lot. So if you're going to be shooting every day and taking out content every Every day, you better put some respect on top of on that. that so well done. You deserve every single cent <laughs> that you're getting. You deserve Amen. every success that I you're receive. getting. Every single thing that is due to you, you deserve it and even more. Thank you. I receive it. Because I know from you, that's definitely a prophecy. Amen. It's not just something that is just no, being babe. said. Mm-mm. And I think what also is that thing of, in my industry, Yeah. imagine if I was some weakling. Yeah, sure. This, Every day they were gonna be chowing me. Yes, hey. yeah. But yeah. one thing about me, the moment in that, because I feel like then I you don't also, fall. Eh? I think I'm. All, I might a- actually also be a great actress if yeah. I actually did. Yeah. Because I can literally feel me so. Miss Fear for all pulling through. Sure. No, it's a very weird transaction. Do you know what it is? It's characters. There, it is. It's characters. It's like nothing can like. Bother. That's what Ooh. acting is about. Yeah. You know. Yo. And so yeah. I can see the, <laughs> the moment Miss Fear for all pulls through. I, I can see it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> <in my> <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, t- me, I am yeah. <laughs> ooh, t- you know, but yeah, I don't want to be in your bed. No, I don't want to lie, because mm. I, I, I just feel it. Sometimes I also watch it, and I'm like, did I say that? And I actually would edit and, p- and press post. You are skilled. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You <laughs> are skilled, you. fearless, and brave, and very <laughs> courageous. You know when the Bible says, be very courageous, you're very yeah. courageous. No, but and keep uh, going. Keep thank doing you. the good work. Thank keep you. I appreciate it. And I also do have to say this on camera, because a lot of people actually do not know. Yeah. You know I have got my podcast to Helen Beck. Yes. Do you know who inspired me? No. You guys. Why? Yes, you guys are the ones that actually inspired me to start Aww. to Helen Beg with uh, I've been through the most. I, I don't wanna lie, like you guys really did. Um I would watch and I didn't know you guys were the ones that were behind. Like I didn't oh, know it was wow. this for a very long time I did. You actually did say that in I our have first told you interview guys, that you yes, featured in our show. I didn't know you said that. that it was yours, but I was like a already a fan. So you oh, can see that you. it was not even biased. Because oh. I was like, what? It was so well produced and everything thank and those you. stories I feel like in South Africa, there was no one that was doing anything yes, like that, yes. you know. And I was like, if I was to ever uh, get a show, I would want something exactly like that. Oh. And I wanted to mimic your style. <laughs> I was going to give you credit, though. I'm someone that credit. Like, okay, you know what? You guys inspired me. And I wanted oh. it to be that way, where people see it and they talk by themselves. Yes. And then I, I spoke about it. And people were like, no, we want you to interview. And I was like, okay, oh. it's fine. I'll do the interviews. And I see that you guys now have also moved doing a great to doing job. the interviews. And I really enjoy it. Thank so keep you. up the great work. You keep honestly. up the great work as well. Thank you. You're inspiring a lot of people. Thank and you. I think that if there's anything that I can actually show you guys is this. First of all, there's absolutely nothing wrong to admit 
someone inspired me. Let sure. them to give people their flowers wow. when they're still alive. Oh. I don't have to sit here and be like, well, I want to just say this was like all my idea by myself. <laughs> no, I did put in idea. I mean, to hell and yes, back. It's course. not exactly the same as uh, I've been through the yes. most, but it was inspired yes. by I've been through the most. I don't That's lose anything. You understand what that I'm saying? That is very kind. And I think it's very important yes. that especially online, and we can also understand that you guys have a podcast. Yes. I have a podcast. Yes. We don't have to be enemies. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that is what's lacking in this industry. But I will tell you, um, from from a, te a television background, it's very different to the online space. Mm. With online spaces, we get to work together. We get to collaborate, you know? And so that is the beauty of it. And so if you grab something that is aligned to your purpose, go for it. We yeah. celebrate you. We celebrate your hard work. And like I said, it takes a lot of courage to really hear stories like that and be able to host them, to listen to it and just like... How do you guys it's cope a lot. emotionally? Like, that's a question I just that thank I... thank God for the faith that we have because had it not been, you know, for us being grounded in faith, I don't know where it would be because it takes a lot of covering, yeah. you know. We know that we covered, you know, we pray for people, but we know God has predestined us for it, yeah. you know, and we know that it's aligned to to purpose and we know that it has to be done. Yeah. And, and for us, uh, you know, that's what it is. But thank you so much for being such a hard worker. Thank I always say thank you for being such a great friend to us. Thank I know you. we've said this on our channel, uh, but um, you really genuinely are a good person. You are an incredible friend. I mean, and we celebrate you, babe. Uh, what is that ginger me? Ginger <laughs> me. <laughs> I rest my case. I rest my case. I rest my case. <laughs> well, thank you so much for actually joining us. Um, before we actually leave, mm -hmm. what advice would you actually give to yourself, like on 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 television, yeah. to your character? What yeah. advice would you give to someone that was divorced wow. and you know they now yes. are getting new love? Because well, some of you may not know, I'm a divorcee, mm -hmm. and it's not easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Like, what advice would you give your character? Because she mm. basically represents a lot of women. Yes, yeah. You know, I always say this. I actually have a quote that I I took from Dr. Miles Monroe. It says that every life needs to be lived with purpose, fueled by a clear vision, and propelled by challenges. Mm. I would say to talk about that everything that you have gone through it propelled you and prepared you for where you are now a lot of people who have gone through losses and pain are afraid to accept their new person they are afraid to accept that they can acquire love receive love be loved because they always look at themselves as that person of what their past says but you are adequate enough and you qualify to be loved again it's okay for you to love again it's okay for you to do it again it's okay for you to give love it's okay for you to receive love without having any boundaries or insecurities from the past wow <clears throat> i feel like that <laughs> advice is, is too close to home it's, it it's too close. much <laughs> Yeah, so let something fuel you. Let your visions for your life fuel you. Let that yeah. be the engine of what you want to do. This is why the Bible says, write the vision down. Right? Let it be plain and clear because that is what's going to fuel you to your next level. If it's not written down, you don't take it that seriously. So write it down so that it can move you and escalate you to where you need to be. And the purpose also, it also pushes you. So purpose pushes you. A vision fuels you, right? And challenges propel you. So everything that you go through, through is actually preparing you for your next level it's not a mistake that you go through what you're going through it's a preparation for you where you need to go and if you stop and you die before your time you can never enjoy the fruits of your future mm. you should write a book i never you're so well articulated <laughs> no, 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 i mean no, no, you're no, saying no. words that i'm sitting here like <laughs> acting like you know i'm like those are not in my vocabulary <laughs> maybe you need to read some more or <laughs> trust me you're doing you very know. well I mean, honestly, like, no, that is really great. Yeah. And I think that, you know, obviously that can be a conversation for another day. Yes. But, um, yeah, I will definitely also take that because, yeah, for me, I, I still have a lot of boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of walls Fair enough. that have been, you know, so we Fair need to enough. break down mm -hmm. and, you know, get there. But Fair thank you so much for coming. You have no idea how much this means to oh. me. And I know you, like, you are so busy. Babes, I love you. What do you mean? I will cross the oceans for mm -hmm. you. Then I will bring you the moon. <laughs> I, I will 
will be your hero, your strength, everything you need. That is for all your ninjas, honey. We will subscribe and take <laughs> you to the moon. <laughs> yes, guys. I'm going to also link the same twins. I'm going to link Thank Innocence you. channel. I'm also going to uh, link Millie's channel. Hey. Hey. As hey. a bonus. <laughs> As a bonus. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to link uh, both of them, you know, all three of them. Please go make sure that you subscribe and obviously watch and obviously keep up with them. And do not forget to catch is Kim Sam. The time has moved, ne? Yes, half past seven. Half past seven but from half past, past six. Corn, from half so past six it's going to be... Prime time, honey. Yes. Ooh. Like, well, you're doing so much better. We should give you a proper nicer slot, you know. So, yeah. Half past seven every weekday. You guys should go and check it out. If you do want to see her kiss on screen, go watch. Ah. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>